Hello, today is February the 3rd, 2021. My name is Ezra. The name of this video is titled, um, The Babylonian Trap. The Babylonian Trap, uh, to my opinion, is how hard it is to leave the United States once you make the decision to leave the United States. Uh, for instance, it took me five years to leave the United States once it, came, once it became apparent that I wanted to leave. The reason why is because living in the United States is like a trap. There are lots of things to trap you in the United States. There are a lot of things that can bog you down in the United States. Therefore, I strongly encourage all of you who are watching this video to prepare yourself mentally, to prepare yourself spiritually, to prepare yourself financially, and eventually even physically to leave the United States. Leaving the United States will be one of the biggest things that you will ever do in your life. Therefore, you must start today to plan for your escape of Babylon. And it might not happen today. It might not happen tomorrow or next month. It might not even happen next year. But right now is the perfect time to leave the United States and start a life in Africa. Leaving the United States at this time is like uh, purchasing a stock of a company that's going to blow up one day. If you get in early, like right now, then your position on the continent of Africa will already be solidified when, once it catches on to everyone else that they should also leave. You who are watching this video now, you are the chosen one because apparently you have the desire to leave the United States and move to Mother Africa. And what you need to do is you need to start saving up your money and um, avoiding the traps that can bog you down to live in the United States permanently. A lot of friends and family and a lot of people I know always say, hey man, I would love to visit Africa or live in Africa, but I got this house note, I got this house mortgage, I got this car note, uh, I'm on child support, uh, I can't leave, I'm paying school loans, uh, you know, it's not going to be easy for me, I caught a felony, uh, I have a job and I just can't leave my job, you know, or I have a baby with the wrong type of woman and she's taking me back and forth to child support court all the time. You see, these kind of traps will prevent you from moving to Mother Africa. Therefore, you must walk carefully living in the United States. Every step that you make living in the United States, you should really reconsider it and ask yourself, is this necessary? Do I need to purchase this car on um, this, this most expensive car on the car note? Do I need to buy this big house and get a house mortgage? Uh, is this girl going to be a good uh, match for me? Uh, or am I going to be back and forth to child support court all the time? Um, you know, is this job going to require me to sign a contract where I can't leave this job for two years at a time? I know some jobs are like that. Um, you know, so, um, you know, if I make this decision and get a felony on my record, would the, is this going to make me get any closer to leaving the United States to move to Mother Africa? So think about these things. Uh, so this is the mental things that you must take in consideration. Mentally prepare yourself by detaching yourself from the Babylonian system. You don't have to no longer be depressed. You no longer have to be sad that you can't find a wife. You no longer have to be depressed that you're going to work every day. Because you know in the back of your mind and within your heart of hearts that you're going to be leaving the situation one day and you're going to move to paradise. Your days will become much more easier. You have a beautiful future ahead of you. And I encourage you right now, after you watch this video, to take it, uh, to take a deep breath, relax, sit down and say, oh, you know what? Right now, I'm not happy. I'm going through depression. But it's a guarantee that in six months or next year, I will be in Africa. So what you need to do now is start saving your money. Start saving every penny if possible. Only pay for the necessities. I know it sounds like a difficult thing to do, but it can be done. Uh, avoid taking, you know, uh, you know, girls out on dates that you don't know in America because your wife is here on the, on the continent of Africa. You no, long, you no longer need to answer the phone calls or go out and look for a date um, and pay for expensive dates in America because your wife is in Africa. So don't go out on any dates. Don't spend your money on uh, a car note. Don't mortgage any house. Uh, you know, collect your materials, write down uh, your plan to leave uh, Mother Africa, um, I mean, excuse me, to leave the United States, make a detailed plan um, of how you would do it. Um, also, spiritually get yourself ready. Uh, ask yourself, am I, am I ready to take the trip and live abroad? Am I, am I ready to go and live in Africa? Um, am I ready to deal with the, com uh, the, the complex lifestyle of, or the complicated lifestyle of living abroad? Uh, and so you got to get yourself prepared mentally, physically, and spiritually and detach yourself from the American Babylonian system. 
Um, because a lot of people in the United States, they get bogged down because they are still within the system itself. You need to separate yourself and distance yourself and alienate yourself from living in the Babylonian system uh, because you have a brighter future ahead of you. If you put all your eggs in one basket living in the United States, you might get caught up in the United States uh, when it has its great downfall. I really do believe that living in Africa, you will escape the persecution that will befall um, the Babylonian system. You know, one day God's wrath will come down hard on the United States. And before that happens, you need to have another place outside of the United States that you can have, that you can escape to, you can live um, in, you know. Come on over here to Africa, uh, purchasing land, uh, you know, uh, having a small little farm, uh, uh, finding a wife, uh, saving up your, you know, your money, having interpersonal communications with your, uh, you know, your people in your community. It will start a whole new life for you like it has done for me. I don't regret it at all living in Africa. It's, it's been the best decision I ever made in my life. Therefore, I really do think that you should also take in consideration uh, living, uh, leaving the United States um, and getting yourself prepared. Uh, so, if, uh, don't have uh, babies out of wedlock if possible. Don't marry the wrong type of woman in the United States. Uh, don't get a car note. Don't get a house mortgage. Don't get a felony. Uh, don't get depressed and sad and start drinking and taking drugs and put yourself in a position that can hurt you. Because if you get caught up in the United States system like they want you to, then it will be almost nearly impossible for you to ever leave. And um, a lot of a lot of whites, a lot of white races in the United States, when they get mad at black people, what do they say? Oh, go back to Africa. Go back to Africa. But let me tell you this now. Um, uh, America does not really want you to leave. America is dependent on immigrants. Immigrants is what keep America floating. Immigrants is what grinds the American machine. Without immigrants, without black Americans feeding into the system, giving our tax money to the American system, America will fall and crumble and implode within, you know? So therefore, they don't want a lot of people to leave the United States. They might say it uh, to be offensive, but in reality, even though the United States system hates us, it's dependent on us. You notice that a lot of these uh, cities like Detroit, Michigan, uh, a lot of these cities where a lot of people are not moving in the United States, and even maybe California, over here in Africa, um, and abroad, you notice that a lot of immigrants are getting DV lotteries if they apply to go to the United States, if they have relatives in those states, because they need to replace the population. And they, they need to replace it with anyone that they can, because without people, uh, if we all start mass exiting out of the United States, nobody's paying taxes. If nobody's paying taxes, no roads are getting built, no hospitals are getting built, no police force is uh, being financed. So they need, they dependent on us. So that's why they make it so, so difficult for us to leave the United States. Therefore, you need to take in consideration this. Don't get caught in the American trap. Don't get caught um, financing uh, American products. Don't get caught with the wrong type of American woman. Don't get caught up with the American system, living in the Babylonian system. You need to get ready now to leave that place by uh, saving up your money, uh, reading as many books on Africa as you can, learning about the culture, trying to learn the language, uh, learning all you can uh, about it, spiritually preparing yourself uh, so you don't be afraid or nervous to leave the United States, mentally preparing yourself and emotionally pre preparing yourself for the ideal of not having your, your family near you or your mom and your dad and leaving them behind as well. Because it's going to be a lonely road, especially for uh, men, to leave the United States and come to Mother Africa. But if done properly and if done st strategically, that will be the best decision that you will ever make in your entire life. You will be never you will never be as happy as you will be if you start preparing to leave the United States now um, and getting yourself prepared. So therefore, I strongly encourage all of you watching this video to keep up with me and and together we work as a united team. I have 100 I have 113 subscriber right, subscribers right now and that's even even that's all we need as a team to work together and to support one another to make these uh, decisions in our lives to leave the United States behind, to leave Babylonian behind, and work together as a, uh, as a team to encourage one another and give each other pointers and to uh, give each other insight on the best way and the best tips, the best jobs that you can find in the United States, the best way to save money and stuff like that. Uh, so this is my video and I encourage you to get ready to leave the United States by mentally, spiritually, uh, emotionally and physically 
uh, preparing yourself to leave the United States, to come to Africa, to find your wife, to start your family, to start your job, to start your business. Um, and so if you have any questions, feel free to contact me at uh, oneethiopiansociety.gmail.com. Uh, uh, Thank you.